Greetings, picky eaters. It is the second day of my five-day cruise here with Star Cruises. As we go to Vietnam and uh, China, things haven't exactly been going according to plan. At night, during our dinner, we had an excellent barbecue dinner by the poolside of Superstar Virgo. The water became a lot choppier than it was the last night. The boat rocked a lot more, so I got hit by a little bit of motion sickness. Thankfully, I was able to take some medicine and I'm feeling a whole lot better. But my advice to you is that if you go on any of these cruises, make sure to bring anti-motion sickness medicine because it's going to be your best friend. I missed breakfast. I actually went to uh, Lido, the restaurant here, and I grabbed a couple of strips of bacon and all of that. I took a couple of bites, but I still, I still wasn't feeling well enough to eat fully, so I had to leave my... I have to leave my bacon. I wasn't able to finish it. <laughs> I promised I wasn't going to cry, but... At 10 a.m., we gathered around the restaurant Samurai. So we are at the Samurai Japanese restaurant, and we are about to try their ribeye steak meal. So it's like a set of like yeah. how many different dishes and stuff like that. With the star of the meal, the oh. ribeye. My sashimi is about to go to the Lucky Princess, followed by some mushrooms that were stir fried right in front of us on the teppanyaki. And then we had one of the best indera dishes that I've ever had. And salamat siya. Very fresh. The sauce is nice. A little sweet, very vibrant, really good. He also made some stir-fried garlic rice right on the on the table. He dumped some garlic butter in it, a bit of pepper. Fantastic. The steak was exquisite. Beautiful quality steak, melt in your mouth, fat, really, really flavorful. He seasoned it beautifully. There's like a dipping sauce to it, but truthfully, I like it as it is. I like it when the meats are the star of the dish, and I don't like messing around too much with the flavors. I like it as it is. And uh, yeah, beautiful. It was beautiful. The chef, who happened to be Filipino, and really fun and uh, really engaging. The Samurai restaurant though is not part of the restaurants that are included in your fare so you would have to spring extra money for that but I highly recommend it if you get the chance. I'm going up now to another event, the Zodiac Theater. We're gonna be Philharmonic Orchestra. Do their thing.
Okay, so I'm about to have dinner right now at the pavilion with a group. And this is like some sort of appetizer. There is uh, some, is that mushroom? Like deep fried mushrooms or something? Like enoki. And then this is, uh, I'm thinking it's hot chicken salad, no? I think this is like a corny crab soup. I'm not so sure about the crab. You know, there's only one way to get me eat green beans, dump bacon on top. There is a very, very good chance I would try it. I'm not sure the name of this fish. It's like some sort of mackerel, according to Mr. Explorations. So this is the grilled mackerel in lemongrass and fish sauce. It's really good. I like the sauce. So the fish is really nicely grilled. And then the sauce gives a bit of a touch of acid on the skin. Yummy fish. And this is some, uh, I don't know, like a wok fried uh, crab. Actually, it looks good. Goose! Okay. Roasted goose. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In plum sauce, of course. Look at that. I'm gonna try the goose. I haven't had goose in a while. I miss it. Nice and fatty. Juicy. Plum sauce, really good. So we watched a bit of Vince Vignon's Spirits magic show that we did. It was pretty much the same as we, as it was when we uh, were when we were here last March. Uh, still a great performance. And uh, after that, I went straight to bed. Was kind of tired. Still a little woozy, but much better now.